Hey there guys and girls, welcome back to the book. And you guys know the drill, hit that like and subscribe, be saucy and share this with someone, and check out the book's Patreon page. Let's see how you can get your name printed on my wall. That's right. This time, I'm doing a two part special, because apparently, I struck gold. According to you guys, Mr. Scary Pool Party is quite the talent, and I only scratched the surface. Based off several different recommendations, I'll be listening to two more tracks by Mr. Scary Pool Party. The first one being Blesser, and the latter being Diamonds. But before we dig in, the bird of the day is the national bird from Newfoundland, Canada. And it's the Atlantic Puffin. The Puffin makes a living by swooping into the sea and scooping up lots of little fish. And again, Alejandro Aranda was the runner up for American Idol's 17th season. And I apparently just scratched the surface when I reviewed his song out loud. So I say enough chit chat because I'm pretty excited to dig in to some blesser sauce. Now I'm gonna be honest, before we listen to this, right before I listened to Out Loud, I was expecting something real subpar. I was not expecting just true raw talent on that guitar, or such depth to the vocal range that he has. Now before I start, looks like he's in a room with a piano. And someone said it was shot on a cell phone, which is all right, but I'm interested to see what more talent this guy has. So let's get right into it. Oh, that's some arpeggios right there. Goes up the scale. And if every day I grow in the way my bones get to break, I really like his vocal cadences. some intense syncopation there.
people are so beautiful. Man, the ability to play like he is playing and sing at the same time, but sing so wonderfully. And you notice how he controls his voice. At times it's quiet, but then towards the latter half of that song, he really started belting out. And I think honestly, through that last half of that song, I could feel his heart and his spirit when he wrote that. That was real power and that was real moving. It felt some sort of struggle in the attempt to overcome it. I felt the deep pain and the drive to push past it. I really feel like that song was like a weapon to overcome some darkness in his life. And that's really unique and takes real talent to be able to convey that through song. And especially through a cell phone quality recording. Man, another tasty track. I loved it. I loved it. Now I'm excited to listen to Diamonds. So, I'll see you in the next. And until then, stay saucy, friends. Mm -hmm.